Go fuck yourself. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is on MGS4 running on the RPCS3 emulator on PC. Metal Gear Solid 4 a game that has been held prisoner to the PS3 and despite Konami making remasters for their older titles, there is no remaster coming for MGS4 sadly. So the only other way is RPCS3 emulator on PC. Now let me give you guys a small overview if you're new to RPCS3 and emulation. The game is still under in-game compatibility which means there are performance issues, bugs, glitches and crashes which can be fixed using custom patches and settings which I will be showing later on in the video. Now in my opinion it is easily the most demanding title on RPCS3 especially CPU wise so it requires a good enough PC. My specifications, Ryzen 5 2600, a 6 core 12 thread CPU which is more than enough to run the game on PC easily. The GPU that I am using currently is the 750Ti 2GB DDR5 and 8GB of DDR4 memory. Now I highly recommend a better GPU for this game, especially a RX 580 or maybe a GTX 1060 for better performance. Okay. Firstly, keep in mind to let the shaders install, they're gonna take some time while compiling, however if you let them compile properly and if you wait for it the game will run much better and smoothly. Moving on to patches, enable Salesforce hack to get rid of crashes, enable these patches here to get performance boost. Make sure that you have the 2.00 version of the game, if you do not know how to update it, I will leave a method below in the description, you guys can check it out from there. Now these are the settings that I'm using. These are the CPU settings, not much changed here, I have only enabled SPU loop detection. On GPU tab, make sure to enable multi threaded RSX, set the resolution to 1080p and don't go any higher, frame limit is on 60 and ZCULL accuracy is on precise. Now moving on to audio settings, make sure to select QBEB as the audio output, format is on stereo and enable buffering and set it to 120ms. Now moving on to advanced settings, firstly on GPU enable write depth buffers and read color buffers, go to firmware libraries and make sure to enable libvdeck.sprsx, accurate rsx reservation access, ppu non java mode fix up and spu llvm precompilation. Set sleep timers accuracy on you sleep only, max number of threads to unlimited, RSX accuracy on atomic and driver wake up delay to 100 nanosecond and finally we blank frequency to 120 hertz. The last two settings can be changed if you are facing some problems so make sure to tweak them a little bit to get best performance. Anyways time to chase some gameplay now, this is where I end my voiceover, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video, thank you guys so much for watching, stay safe, stay blessed and until next time, farewell. Careful, Snake. The walls could come down any second.
Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. Damn! 